Hello, it's Ava. How are you? So, it's another skincare thing. The last time we did a video, we, I, did a skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited. I need to calm down. Calm down. I think I need a cup of tea. Okay. The last time I spoke about skincare, I addressed the fact that I'm not exfoliating on a routinely basis. I'm not consistent with it. And I realised that I, there has been exfoliators that I've used and I want to address, this isn't even a, an exfoliator. I want to address a few that I've used and my favourites. I don't know why I'm always talking about Body Shop, it's getting ridiculous. But yes, Body Shop are up there again. First of all, I want to talk about this tea tree three in one wash scrub and mask with purifying tea tree oil from the foothills of mount kenya oh really okay what i like about this is it's a free in one i mean how often should you scrub i think it depends on your skin i think once a week at least is good once a fortnight at the minimum so how you use it is you wash wash it's like a wash how many times will I say wash? Wash and scrub. So it has little small stones in within it. They're quite small, not too many. And then you leave it on your face. You put it onto dry skin and then it hardens. Yes, and it turns into a green mask. I think I may have used it in one of my vlogs, but I do like this because it is a free in one. I like it because it gives me that, that ting that tingly 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 tingliness that t tea tree tingliness like this is a winner i don't always have a batch of this because this goes down very quickly and this one in particular isn't even mine i think this is my sister's another one that i have used for years but i don't have to hand so i will put it maybe over there is the clean and clear facial scrub now i have used that for years like from when i was a teenager my mum used to like buy them in bulk like from super drug or something and i think because they're relatively affordable the stones again they're small fine not too bitty whereas <laughs> If we're comparing like the granules, the little stones, the body shop one, if that gets in your eye, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you've got to be super careful. If that gets in your eye, it's it's a wrap. I've done this twice this week. The little granules of stone in my eye. Look, we'll talk about that in a minute. No, it's really affordable and I think it's a good starter like facial wash. If you don't have too many issues with your skin, like your skin is just meh. To be honest, I haven't used it in a while, but like if it's there i will the next one i want to address again it's similar to clean and clear it's simple this is not the facial scrub i'm just showing you the packaging of a facial wash which i should be showing you the facial scrub but they have a facial scrub as well that simples reminds me very much of the clean and clear one very affordable not too abrasive you know just gets the job done does what it says on the tin um, i think they're a great starting point if you are starting in your skincare journey or you know trying to have a i'm not saying skincare journey have a skincare routine because i think everybody should have a skincare routine now my last and final one i think is probably up there as one of my favorites it is the nip and fab exfoliate glycolic glycol yeah let's try glycolic like i hate this word glycolic that's what it makes you do glycolic acid scrub fix oh my gosh this is it now as you can see i am showing you an empty product i absolutely love this when i tell you whoo the stones in this are fine. It's like you are scrubbing your face with sand. It f It's so deeply exfoliated. It gets into all of those pores and just... It. You know, sometimes you use like a, um, a glove, a facial glove to wash your face. Like this one, you don't. You can, but you'll be doing it. Like you'll be doing too much. This is a lot. This is intensive. <laughs> that's why i like it i think i bought this from boots L just like the tea tree oil one from body shop but there are more of them they're fine and more like so it just feels like so many small small sand like as i said it feels like you're washing your face with so many small small pieces and you have to be very careful t with your eyes because i have gotten the the little granule in my eye oh my goodness what a nightmare trying to get that out oh 
I like the rest of, I felt like my day was ruined. I just couldn't get it out. And I was rub, and I didn't know that you're not supposed to rub your eyes. And I put my, like, I put my face in water, like in water, tried to roll my eyes around, still nothing would come out. It was just like, I was going crazy. I even went to sleep. I thought I'll sleep and then it'll just move to the center. And I could, no, until I pulled forward my um, top lid and it, I pulled it over the bottom lid and it just kind of dropped out. And that's the only that's the only way I got it out. It was so I was so annoyed because like man, I could have done that earlier. I literally had to Google how to do that. I say it can be dangerous if it gets in your eye, but that nip fab, I feel like I want to try. I have tried something else from their range, but I can't remember what it was. It's got glycolic acid in it, which I know like the skincare community, they're all about glycolic acid. It says three percent retextures it really does retexture like it will remove all of that dead dead up dead up skin <laughs> it will and it also has salicylic acid it's like it feels like it's getting into the pores so good i've shouted it out enough but anyway that's my scrubs facial scrubs update uh, in between the nip fab and the body shop one those two are my current favorites comment below what are some of your exfoliating facial washes look i look i will try it because i have oily acne prong skin ideally i will give it a try but thank you so much for watching Comment, like, subscribe, check out the rest of my videos. Hit the notification bell. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. I don't know what accent that was. Until my next video, think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye.